So the Des Moines Botanical Garden is bringing a new event series to its lineup called the Rayway. I'm so excited to talk about this. I've been kind of looking at all the info on the website. So joining us right now to share all the details is Maggie Connor with the Greater Des Moines Botanical Garden. So thank you so much for joining thank us today. You. I know the Rayway is an event celebrating um, Asian heritage and culture uh, right here locally. So I think you guys have an event Sunday. Talk about what this series is all about. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks to a grant from the Iowa Arts Council, the Greater Des Moines Botanical Garden has been able to create a series of events, as you said, celebrating Asian culture and heritage in Iowa and also former Governor Robert D. Ray's efforts in welcoming Asian refugees to yeah. the state of Iowa in the 70s. Um, and so throughout the months of September and October, we've been planning events both at the Greater Des Moines Botanical Garden and the Robert D. Ray Asian Garden, which is just down the street. Um, our horticulturists actually steward that garden now. So it's we've welcomed it sort of in our collection of gardens and it's part of our family. So um, the next event that we've got coming up is with uh, the Japan America Society of Iowa. We're gonna have an origami drop-in cool. on Sunday. Uh, from I believe 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So anyone who attends, who comes through the doors at the garden is welcome to fold some origami um, at no charge to them thanks to the grant. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's so my parents are Asian refugees and my dad had a bunch of relatives who, who uh, immigrated here. Can you talk about just why it's important to have a series of events like this to to recognize this. Absolutely, I think, especially since the Greater Des Moines Botanical Garden started to uh, steward the Robert E. Ray Asian Garden, it's so important for us as a community to understand yeah. the significance of that garden and his efforts in welcoming uh, Asian refugees. It really changed the fabric of the state of Iowa. Yeah. It has made, um, you know, it's just knowing that there is that diversity in our culture because of these specific efforts and knowing that story and history yeah. makes us who we are as Iowans. Um, one event that we have that's ongoing throughout the month is an art in our North Gallery. There's art that was created by individuals like you who yeah. are descendants of people who were refugees in Iowa yeah. and so it tells the story of their journey and then at the very end there is a depiction or a print of Iowa shares which yeah. is a painting that depicts the efforts of Robert D. Yeah. Ray to bring refugees to Iowa so it's a really moving exhibit that showcases the vibrancy and the culture that is here in Iowa because of what happened back in the 70s with right. refugees. Yeah. Right, and these communities have become just a fabric of our city. So for those who are interested in getting uh, uh, taking part in these events, I yes. know there's, there's gonna be a bunch more events throughout the rest of the month. Where yep. can people find information? We have four more events throughout the end of the month. Anyone can go to dmbotanicalgarden.com slash the dash ray dash way um, to get more information. We've got uh, an Asian inspired four course meal with Trellis Cafe. Um, and to also plug our friends over at Iowa PBS on October 17th, they are actually uh, releasing their Robert D. Cool. Ray uh, documentary on Iowa PBS. So don't miss it. We aired it at the garden. And okay. It's quite moving. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much thank for you. hosting the series and for all you guys do over there at the Botanical Gardens and thank for coming so on today. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.